My crazy wife thought I was cheating on her, but I wasn't. My intuition told me my husband was cheating on me. Later, I used my psychic ability, and he told me that it was the truth. She'd have the tarot cards laid out, and then she'd start accusing me of cheating on her. You were reading cards? When I was suspicious of it, yes, I did. One day, it'd be the tarot cards. The next day, it'd be a crystal or the little pendulum swinging thing or some numerology. And what would she say when you come home? Oh, I know you're cheating. The tarot card said so. And or... I swung the pendulum, and it said so. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yes, ma'am. She was even calling the psychic line. I pulled out the phone bill, and I said, what's this? She said, oh, that's the psychic hotline. I said, well, did the psychic hotline tell you you ain't got no job to pay the phone bill? Today, it's Laylene Montoya Matthews versus Wayne Matthews in Divorce Court, where real couples deal with real life. All rise. Court is now in session. Judge Maybelline Ephraim presiding. You may be seated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is the matter of Laylene Montoya Matthews versus Wayne Matthews. I understand that you've been married for six years, that you now want a divorce. You want him to pay you spousal support. This marriage is ending because your husband said you are a little too hung up on your tarot cards and your pendulum and always accusing him of cheating. So he finally decided, well, I'll go out and do it so your tarot cards and pendulums could be right. <laughs> Tell me about it. Well, I would come home from work, and um, she'd have the tarot cards laid out, and then she'd start accusing me of um, cheating on her. Um, and, and I'd deny it, that I never cheated. I'm not cheating on well, you. did you come you. home late? Did you come home two days after the work day ended? Oh, no, I, mean, I what? came home every day right after work. And just because you came home from work, this is what you were met with, a greeting of, hey, you were cheating on me yep. today. Yep. Yes, ma'am. Just out the sky? Yes, ma'am. He didn't come home right after work. He, he did come home late. And the reason I started using tarot cards in the first place is because right as soon as we got back from Vegas getting married in the hotel room, he's on the phone with his ex telling me to leave the room to go get orange juice so he could talk. The that, day you got married? That was the day after we got back. The day after we got back, we stayed in the hotel room. Mm -hmm. The next morning, he's calling her and telling her what's going on because I found out later that they were together when we went and got married. And I didn't know he had a child either when we got married. So how long did you know this man before only, you married him? I, I knew him for about five years. And didn't, you didn't know he had a child? No. Well, I knew him for about three months. Not okay. a very good psychic. Well, wait a minute now. Three months or five years? No, no. We knew each other in high school. Okay, we so knew, knew, we, knew we knew of each other in high school. Okay. Okay. I didn't know him as a friend until three months before that, and he was a very good three friend. Three months before you married him. Right. He became a very good friend he was three a months very before marriage. Yeah. How did that happen? We were just, we were friends. I met I met him at his job again. You know, recognized him from school, and we started hanging out. And from there, you got married. Mm-hmm. How did you decide to get married? It was very spontaneous. Um, oh. You know. As, as a little girl, you dream of getting whisked away, you know. Okay, we were talking one night, sitting around, and uh, we were talking about how all our friends are, you know, starting to get married and have kids and stuff. And he tells me, you would never marry me, would you? And I told him, if you drive me to Vegas right now, I'll marry you. So you drove to Vegas on a whim and decided to get married? Yes. Hadn't given it much thought, right? No, Your Honor. Didn't know much about him other than the fact that you knew that he went to the same high school as you, and when you ran into him again, you got interested. Is that right? Is that you agree on that so far? Yeah, that's pretty... But pretty you true. were already dating somebody. Oh, I, I was dating, a, you know, more than one person before... I, was not, I wasn't dating her when we decided to go off and get married, so... What were you doing? What you call it? We were just hanging out, you know, uh, Drinking buddies, you know, partying buddies. We go to the clubs and go dancing and stuff. A group of friends. So you were just friends. Yeah, just she friends. She was like another guy, just a pal. Yeah, a pal. Oh, so why why did you ask the question? You wouldn't marry me then? I didn't put it to her like that. Um, we were sitting there talking, and um, she said, uh, she said, you know, I really like you a lot. And I said, well, I really like you a lot too. I, and then jokingly, I said, you know, maybe we ought to run off to Vegas and get married. Now, then she said. Uh, well, I'd, I'd go off to Vegas and marry you if we left right now, you know. So I'm, I had a little crush on her. I'll admit I had a little crush on her. So I went back home, packed up my stuff, and went over to her house, picked her up. We went to Vegas, got married. <laughs> and then the next day when you woke up and realized you was married to her, you was like, how do I explain this to my girlfriend, the other woman that I've been dealing with, Boy, right? I tell you, that's right. So that's when you got back and called her. <laughs> yeah. 
and you told your wife to leave the room. No, I don't recall that. Yes, he but... did. He told me to go to the gas station and get orange juice while he was on the phone. And he had actually let me talk to her on the phone, and she told me, oh, I love this man, and don't ever treat him bad because he's a good guy, stuff like that. Oh, so she, you yeah, told, she called and told her you had gotten married. Yeah, no, no. she was crying on no, the phone. No, no, I had a cell phone, and I had all my friends calling me back from Denver saying, I heard you took off to Las Vegas to marry Laylene. Well, it wasn't right away. I had probably five, I didn't even get into the Nevada State Line before I had people calling me already, because she told her roommates where, you know, where we were going. Yeah. I didn't even get into Nevada. I had five people calling me already, asking me, I heard you're taking off to Mary Laylene and all this. Okay, so when you got back, you had to start making some calls of your own. Oh, And you sent yeah. your wife away to go buy orange juice. So when you went to go buy this orange juice and left him on the phone with his ex, what were you thinking? I'm thinking, what the hell's going on? You know, I definitely was suspicious, you know, that... There were, it wasn't over between them, and she made it obvious that she didn't want to let him go. So when did you get off into tarot card reading and pendulum swinging and all that other stuff? Um, I've been into that. I've been into that since I was younger. Well, you're still young, so I'm, what, how much younger? I was about 13 when I started getting into that. And so and how old are you now? I'm 25. So you've been doing that a while? I've been doing it a while, yeah. So 12, you know, tw yeah, because you've been married for six years, and so... See, so you're 25 now, you were 19 then. So six years of tarot card reading, you had a little experience, right? Mm -hmm. So you didn't decide to read any of the cards before you went running off to Las Vegas with him? No, I didn't. I didn't. It was spontaneous. Just like I said, we agreed to do it. He says, I'll be back in a half an hour. I went in my room, I packed my clothes, and he was back there in half an hour. And you all got whisked away we to all, Las Vegas and yeah, got married. Yes. And now it's a problem. What happened after you got back, the girl, the ex-wife, and then what happened after that? So you didn't trust him as a result of that, from right. then on? from then on. I never trusted him. So every time he came home, you were reading cards? Not every single time he came home. When I was suspicious of it, yes, I did. Okay, what things would rouse your suspicion? Um, when he'd drive, he'd go for a drive, just for a drive. You know, he wouldn't tell me where he's going, or he'd say he's go he was going to his parents' house. I'd call over there, he wouldn't be there. So then you pull out your cards? And then I pull out my cards and say, where was he? Yes. And your cards would tell you where he was? My cards would tell me he was with a woman. And when he came home, you'd ask him about that? I would ask him. And, and he, what would he say? He denied it. How long did this happen? Pretty much the whole time I was married to her. For how many years? So about six years of that? Yes, ma'am. Every time you came home, there was a card telling you something. Oh, yeah. Sometimes she'd just leave him laying on the table, and I'd come home, and she wouldn't even be there. There'd just be the... The, uh, a card that's supposed to mean that you're off with some woman and she'd just leave the card laying there and, and the she'd take was, off. No, and he and, and did, it. did it arouse your suspicion when she wasn't there? No, I'm not really, you know, I try not to be a jealous guy, you know, but, uh, so I didn't, you, you know, I didn't, be at first about. I wasn't really concerned about where she was at, you know, I, I didn't care, I mean, she had boys calling her too, you know, I mean, what are you gonna do, you get married, you know, you just can't stop talking to the rest of the world. When Divorce Court Continues. I got in the mailbox and pulled out the phone bill. I said, what's this? She said, oh, that's the psychic hotline. I said, well, did the psychic hotline tell you you ain't got no job to pay the phone bill? <laughs> if you would like to have the judge hear your case in Divorce Court, call us toll free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at www.divorcecourt.com. How would you like to make $30 to $50 an hour in the fast-growing field of massage therapy? Whether you work out of your home or for an employer, the demand has never been greater. Imagine working on cruise ships, resorts, spas, or even your own salon. The pay is great and the work rewarding. Find out how Heritage College can train you in eight months to be a massage therapist. Call 303-477-7240. Be sure to ask about our continuous job placement service. Call 303-477-7240. Call now. This holiday season, hurry to KFC for the Colonel's Big 10-Piece Holiday Bucket, just $7.99. That's right, only $7.99 for 10 pieces of the Colonel's finger licking good original recipe or delicious extra crispy chicken. Add some of KFC's home-style side dishes and freshly baked biscuits for an effortless holiday meal. Let the Colonel do the cooking this holiday season. Get a Big 10-Piece Holiday Bucket, an amazing value at just $7.99, now at KFC. There's fast food, and then there's KFC. Do you feel alone, down, unhappy? Life feels hopeless, 
Are you tired most of the time? It could be depression, a damaging condition that can ruin your quality of life. If you're depressed, you may qualify for an investigational medication research study. Psychiatrists and medical research staff provide all research-related care and study-related medication at no cost to you. We may be able to help you understand depression. Call Denver Center for Medical Research at 303-477-CARE. I like my job, and I enjoy meeting new people. But I only work part-time, and it's not going to be my career. Because I'm getting my training as a medical assistant. Parks College can train you for a career in the medical field sooner than you think. Train as a medical assistant, work in the front office, or in hospitals and medical clinics. Parks College can put you on the fast track to success. For a brochure on career training, call Parks College now at 800-577-7113. He's infatuated with boobs, but not my boobs. Everybody else's bazookas. This husband knows what he likes. The videotape of your son's first birthday parties is other women's breath. Yes. And likes what he sees. I saw bazookas going up and down. Big bazookas, little bazookas. On the next Divorce Court. Maybe you had too much time on your hand. That's why you always thought he was out doing something. Is that it? No, that's not it at all. What would you do during the day? I was Watching with my TV? Family. I was with my family. Uh huh. And doing what? Okay. Tarot card reading? No, not the whole time. But yes, sometimes I did. I, I want to get to why. What did he do to cause you to think all the time that he was cheating? It wasn't all the time. He says every day. It wasn't every day. It okay, was once so in a while. Okay, so you tell me how how often did it occur? It, it was, it was every would day, do? but it was a different medium. It was a different... It, one day, it'd be the tarot cards. The next day, it'd be a crystal or the little pendulum swinging thing or some numerology. No, okay. So it was every day, but I it was, was something different every no, day. I was suspicious And what would she say when you come home? Oh, I know, you're, I know you're cheating on me. I know you're cheating. The tarot card said so, or, and how she decided, you know... And I swung the pendulum, things. and it said so. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, exactly. Yes, ma'am. What else would these cards or pendulums or whatever you would use to tell you? They would say that they're, it's repetitive and it's going to keep happening and that I should leave and I should have. But the thing was, okay, I would accuse him of it the first time, okay? And he would deny it and he would deny it and he would deny it until he saw what I was seeing and all this stuff. When like I read what? these cards. So when did you really see something? Well, I didn't see. I mean, I saw it in the cards. Okay, okay what the cards what the really tell you says. that you could, you could justify with actions? What did the card say that I could just? Yeah, I could that you finally were able to justify with reality. She was even calling the psychic lines. <laughs> I'd I'd come home from work one day and I I got in the mailbox and pulled out the phone bill, pulled it out. It's uh one nine hundred. I said, what's this? She said, oh, that's the psychic hotline. I said, well, did the psychic hotline tell you, you ain't got no job to pay the phone bill? <laughs> did they tell you, you run up the phone bill? Um, no. I said, well, they ain't too psychic either. It cost me forty dollars, forty forty five dollars a pop. And what'd you find out from that? Nothing. That that was that was. That didn't work. Too. No, it wasn't. But you found out that something. That was very faulty. Well, what did you finally find out from all of this stuff you accused him of? Did you ever get any concrete evidence of anything? Yes, from what him. Happened? From him doing these things and showing him what I found, he finally admitted to me. After asking him for a week about the same the same instance, he finally admitted to me. Okay, and you you finally confessed. No, I didn't confess. Every day, come on, tell me the truth. Just tell me the truth. Come on, tell me the truth. I know you are. Come on, tell me the truth, okay? Yeah, whatever, you know? If I tell you, yeah, will you shut up? But, I, you know, I never was, you know? I mean, I flirt a little bit, but I never oh. kissed them or put my hands okay, on them or anything like truth. that. Stay that's out all night truth. with them or anything like that. You admitted to me so numerous what is this, your times female, What kind of work did you me. do? Was she, afraid, was she jealous of your coworkers? Oh, is that she who was you jealous of everybody. Of? She was jealous of everybody. If I had a female cousin come over, put her arm around me, she was right there, like, you know, on patrol, you know, or something. No, no matter, no, went, any, 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 anybody went, that was a woman that came around me, he went she was real suspicious of, of all no, the time. He went with one of his female coworkers to a lingerie shop to buy a gift for another coworker. How'd you know about that? Because I asked him about that. He told me the day before that they might do that, that they were looking for gift ideas, and that's where they might go. And I told him I didn't feel comfortable you taking her to the lingerie shop. Did you offer to go with him? No. Why not? He never offered, he never offered to take me. You couldn't ask if you didn't feel comfortable with him taking the co-worker. No, you know Why didn't... couldn't you say, let me go and pick out the gift for your female co-worker? This was during the day while they were at work. They left for work during lunch to go do this. Well, you had all that free time. You could have met him. I could have. I could have walked. Yeah, I could have walked eight miles to meet him. 
Oh, you didn't have a car? No, I didn't. Oh. So you left her at home eight miles away with no car while you out cheating and messing around with your coworkers and other people and all she could find out was buy the cars. Why did you leave your wife at home without a car? Because we only had one car. I only had one car. When yeah, we got married, okay. she had a car, but her ex-boyfriend filled it up full of diesel gas and it didn't run right. So she oh. had a car when I met her and I started hanging out with her, but uh, her, her other boyfriend had filled up the gas tank full of diesel. So Excellent. the car didn't run no more. When divorce court continues, I had suspicions of a next door neighbor, okay? And I found her socks in our bed. Oh, now that's a pretty concrete evidence. It takes a lot to get my employer out of bed, usually about 20 grand a day. Her sheets must be kept very soft. She would have me buy the most expensive fabric softener, but not being a 20 grand a day man myself, I know better. To soften her sheets, I use these sheets. New all fabric softener. It works like a dream. She sleeps like a baby. Charming. Closed captioning for divorce court provided by... We're here showing folks how a packet of Hidden Valley Ranch changes regular chops into ranch chops. It's got pizzazz. And changes regular bread into ranch bread. It's better than bread. <laughs> Hidden Valley Ranch. This changes everything. Tonight, get double the laugh. <laughs> Woohoo! Double the. Stop! Stop! Catch back to back Simpsons at 5 30 and 6. You don't know how! Yes! Woohoo! It all starts tonight at 5 30. Hey! Only on Fox 31. The Simpsons are on TV. Hi, I'm Floyd Little. Every time I stepped onto a football field, I expected to get hit. But if you've taken a hit in a car accident, chances are you weren't ready for it. That's why you need someone on your side to keep the playing field level. I recommend attorney Daryl S. Elliott. If you are hit by an uninsured motorist, your insurance company can become your adversary. That's when you need aggressive representation. Call attorney Daryl S. Elliott at 303-863-1600. Pick up the phone and call Daryl S. Elliott now. It's an all-pro move. Are you thinking about making a career change? Want to know where the hottest, most in-demand jobs are? I bet you'd like to know the starting salary of these jobs. Westwood College of Technology has designed this information package called the Career Starter Report. It's free, and it's designed to help you make an informed career decision. Make an appointment now to get your free copy of the Career Starter Report. Call toll-free, 888-605-2244. That's 888-605-2244. Call now. Are you tired of living paycheck to paycheck? I'm Tamara Birch, president of American Freedom Mortgage. Every day we help homeowners save hundreds of dollars a month by consolidating their bills into one low monthly payment. Would you like the freedom to pay off your bills, improve your home, take a vacation, pay tuition, or put cash in your pocket? With or without perfect credit, we're there for you every step of the way. Open the door to your freedom. Call today. Undercover agent. I want you guys to tell him. See if he's dirty. Turns up the heat. Fast lane. Tonight at 8 on Fox 31. If you would like to have the judge hear your case in divorce court, call us toll free at 1 877 311 2222 or log on to our website at www.divorcecourt.com. he told me he told me okay and then there's other instances okay okay um, I had suspicions of a next-door neighbor okay and I found her socks in our bed oh now that's a pretty concrete evidence I found I found uh, unrolled condoms in the back seat of his car he said his friends were just messing unrolled. around yeah in the back seat of his car and the wrapper he said his friends were messing around and left it there yeah. okay now explain that it was a glow-in-the-dark condom. We got it uh, um, at a dance club one night, mm -hmm. and uh, I had two friends sitting in the back seat, and they were throwing, tossing it around the car. It was glow-in-the-dark, holding up to a little dome light, charging up, throwing it around the car. Yeah, guys play with condoms. Okay, how, what about All the next-door neighbor's socks doing in your bed? That's the first I ever heard of that. I've no. never seen those socks in my bed. Yes, they were, and I showed them to you. And when you, what about? Did she show you some socks, claiming that they I've came out of your bed? I've never seen any socks. You never saw any? I never saw So you're just a sweet question. little innocent guy, and she just was, you know, all this stuff is just her imagination. Uh, 
Pretty much, yes, ma'am. Wait a minute now. What does pretty much mean? I that, mean, you know, like, of, like I yes, told you, I, no. I talk to girls. I ain't gonna, you know, I just just because I got married doesn't mean I'm dead to the world. You know, I still talk to girls and I got friends. You and know, you still flirt around. Okay, uh, this girl. Uh, I think a little flirting, it, you know, can be harmless as long as it don't go too far. You know, so it's just healthy yeah. for the marriage. That's what you think, huh? Mm. What about if she flirts around? Is that still is it healthy? Hey, I. I always, I, I never got had a problem with. Okay, her. this and girl, this girl that he worked with. I never had a problem with her flirting. This she girl did it all that the time. he worked with goes to kiss him on the cheek, and he turns his head, and kisses her on the lips, and that pissed me off too. You saw that? Yeah, I saw that. I was outside in the car waiting for him because I was picking him up from work. Oh, you finally got to drive the car? Uh huh. <laughs> this is crazy. You know, they say the idle mind is the devil's workshop. The idle mind is just gives you off into a lot of imagination. Well, you couldn't go to school. I mean, you couldn't do anything. Okay. You could go online. You could go correspondence courses. You could go to the local junior college or the okay. community college. Okay. One, he wouldn't okay. let you. One of the reasons I didn't want to go work is because I didn't want to go work at a fast food place. I didn't have my, I didn't have my diploma. I had the chance to go back to school. It would have taken me three months. To get my to get my diploma. To go back GED. to regular day high school during the day, yeah. like like high school oh, age kids. Regular day do, high school. Day. But I was gonna be flirting with all the little boys at high school, so he didn't let me hey, go back well, there. I, figured I didn't she... have no, I didn't have money to go get a GED. And he wouldn't let you me go back to school. You get that from the local high school at no, night. No, you can't. No, I can't. I, I didn't know about yeah, that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. See, I figured if she's gonna go sit somewhere for eight, eight hours a day, sure five days a week, she ought to be getting a little, little check boys. coming at the end of the week. Mm. You ought to find a job instead well, of, you know. Well, you should have figured that out before you married her. So now She you... had a job when I married her, and then she quit. After we got back from Las Vegas, she worked that job about two weeks, and then she quit. Well, she said she was a married woman now, she didn't have to work. That's what she thought. Obviously, she did. It lasted for six years. I, every day I was telling her, you gonna go find a job? When divorce court continues, I don't need a wife that's going to have her family up in my business all the time, trashing out my house. Asthma was only going so far and always wanting to go further. Today, there is Advair. Ain't no mountain high enough. Advair is clinically proven to increase symptom-free days because Advair is the first and only product to effectively treat the two main components of asthma, airway constriction and inflammation. No other single product does that. Advair won't replace fast-acting inhalers for sudden symptoms and should not be taken more than twice a day. People switching from an oral steroid like prednisone to Advair, which contains an inhaled steroid, need to be especially careful. While adjusting to the switch, your body may not be as able to heal after surgery, infection, or serious injury. If you have heart or blood pressure problems, tell your doctor. Some people may experience a change in heart rhythm. See your doctor if your asthma does not improve. Ask your doctor if Advair is right for you. Advair, because life should take your breath away, not asthma. Reason number 17, why you shouldn't get a better career. I like working in fast food, free tacos, and I like that dog, Yokiero. Get a real career. At Pima Medical Institute, we make it possible to earn a great income and help others in the medical, dental, and veterinary fields. Since 1972, Pima, the medical experts, have helped thousands of students achieve their dreams. It's easy to get started, and financial aid is available to those who qualify. Call now. Pima Medical, help others better pay. Call 426-1800 today. If you've been injured in an accident, you may not understand the full and complete nature of the damage. The list you are seeing now shows some of the losses you may be suffering. To make matters worse, the burden of proof lies with you, the injured party. I'm attorney Daryl S. Elliott. I have over 20 years of personal injury and litigation experience. Call me today for your free initial consultation. Call attorney Daryl S. Elliott at 303-863-1600. Pick up the phone and call Daryl S. Elliott now. It's an all-pro move. Lives depend on you. You're a professional using the latest high-tech equipment. You're an x-ray technician. Are you up to the challenge? In just months, Cambridge College can train you to become an x-ray technician, working with doctors and caring for patients. X-ray technicians are in great demand, and your training at Cambridge College will get you well prepared for this highly rewarding career. You can do it. You can have this exciting career. Call Cambridge College at 303-338-9700 now. 
When I trim, I get an uneven line without my Conair XD10 trimmer. With a pivoting head, my hand's in the right position for a perfect trim every time. Introducing the Robitussin Raspberries. We put sweet raspberry taste and real fruit juice in new sunny raspberry vitamin C drops from Robitussin. New Blistex Silk and Shine with real silk extracts for the feeling of silk plus a light glossy shine. Discover what your lips are missing. New Blistex Silk and Shine. Okay, how much money do you make? I make about uh, $2,000 a month. And how much, are you working now? Yes. Oh, you were able to find a job without that GED? Yeah, like no. two weeks after she left? No, yeah. The yeah. Two weeks after you separated, she found a job? No, yeah. I left him and I did go get my GED. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah, I did. Hmm, and so now you're working? Yes. And, how, and you have a car? Yes. How'd you get a car? My grandfather bought me a car. Oh, your grandfather's little girl, huh? Yes. So how much money are you making? Probably about fifteen hundred a month. Fifteen hundred a month. Mm -hmm. And you make two thousand a month. So where are you supposed to pay your spousal support? What you want him to do? Pay your spousal support so you can quit work? No. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so what are you asking for if you're making fifteen hundred? He's making two thousand. Because the whole time we were together, yeah, he supported me monetarily, but emotionally, I was gone. I was out there. I was stupid. I was <coughs> worthless, and that's how I felt. And I feel I should be compensated yeah. for all those years that he made me feel like that. Oh, I wish I could, but that's not the law. And what happens is you should have... See, I don't believe in the tarot cards and the psychics right. and the pendulum swingers and all of that. But if you believed in that so seriously, you should have used that before you went running to Las Vegas I with know, him. I should have. But the point is, you married somebody on, what, three months, you said? Mm -hmm. You didn't know anything about him, and then on a whim, Oh, let's go to Vegas tonight? That's not the way you get married. Yeah. Did you really intend, think that it would work like that? Yes. You didn't know enough about him? No, I didn't. Oh, well, he took care of you for six years, but now you're working. Mm -hmm. And you're earning almost the same amount of money. There are no children involved, am I right? Correct. So I, I, I'm going to have to deny your request for spousal support. I don't see that he has any greater ability to pay you. Request denied. All rise. Parties may leave the courtroom. I can't compensate you for emotional damage. You know, maybe other guys always need somebody around telling them uh, that they're cheating all the time, or maybe they need somebody to sit there and babysit their belongings all day, but it's just not me. I don't need a wife that's going to have her family up in my business all the time, trashing out my house, drinking up all my beer. She's going to jump up and get married, doesn't have a high school diploma. Hasn't finished high school. Yeah. Met some guy you just know. If you take me to Vegas and get married, yeah, she just seemed like she right just now. wanted, she was desperate to get out. From under her parents' wings, maybe. I don't know. It just wasn't in the cards, was it? I don't know. <laughs> that was a good one, Joe. <laughs> just wasn't in the cards. <laughs> you know what? I don't need anything from him in the first place. Since court, Laylene remains bitter over their marriage. She says what I should have done is cast a spell to make Wayne's penis wither up and fall off. Of course, if he keeps sleeping around, it probably will anyway. Wayne feels the curse of his marriage is finally lifted, and he's throwing a party to celebrate. He says we're going to sing karaoke, putting Laylene's name into all the bad country songs about nagging wives, while we throw darts at her picture. Enjoy savings for Christmas at Mr. Money USA with stocking stuffers and stocking busters for everyone on your list. Get the gifts you want at Mr. Money at a fraction of the cost and brand name jewelry at less than half.